Alright, this, this is just going to be kind of a uh, quick build video. This is something I've uh, been playing around with lately. And it seems to work really, really well. Uh, the stats I've got are pretty good. Starting out, I've got a medium and a heavy blood spawn. Uh, this really helps your ultimate a lot and it gives you a lot of resistance as well. My other set that I'm using is the Necropotent set. This works really well with the Sorcerer, uh, with the Twilight Matriarch. Gives you a lot of magic to play with. Now, on my rings and jewelry set, I have the uh, Lich set. I've got one Glitch with Stamina Recovery, Arcane, one Protective with Spell Damage and another arcane with spell damage. Now this uh, works really well with the uh, Blitz Mount set in terms of giving me a pretty good stamina recovery which I have here. I'd like a little bit more but I can actually get along uh, pretty good with that. On my front bar, I've got the Inferno Staff of Willpower. This gives me a lot of uh, a lot of extra magicka uh, for what it is, anyway. I'll show you. Okay, now I've got a Lightning Staff of Lich equipped, and my magic is at uh, forty thousand five hundred. If I go to the willpower set, uh, that jumps up to uh, 42,422, which is a pretty good jump in Magicka, so I really like having this set here. Uh, the next thing, on the back bar I've got the Lich set, S so when I, whenever I run out of uh, magic or I'm getting close to it, I'll run to the back set and then uh, cast a magic ability and this will increase my magic recovery to roughly uh, 3500 with the potion so that works really really well and uh, I would highly recommend the list set uh, getting into the abilities I'm going to be, I'm using the Flame Rage set, buffed up, uh, this is uh, giving me 56, 5600 plus uh, 6300, which uh, totaled all together gives me almost uh, 1200 damage uh, all together. Now what I really want to do is go with the Master Staff instead of the Willpower set. And what that's going to give me is roughly another 3,000 initial damage, which is really going to increase my uh, my hitting power quite a bit. And it also uh, gives you a reduced cost, so you're your cost is going to only be right around 2000 Now to offset the high cost of this, I've got Elemental Drain. Elemental Drain uh, allows for more magic penetration, which works really well, and it gives you uh, 3000 magic every one second. So if you use that in conjunction with this, it works out pretty well, and it actually helps all your abilities. I've got uh, Crystal Fragments. I've got the Summon Twilight Matriarch. This does a pretty good bit of damage, but it also heals you for quite a bit as well. And this is what procs your uh, Necrobotan set. I've got Hardened Ward. And I've got the Greater Star Matronek. Uh, buffed up, this does about uh, 4128 shock damage every second to uh, nearby enemies. So this uh, 
this can actually give you about um, not counting all your crits uh, you're gonna be getting right at around maybe 120,000 so it works really well, really well. On my back bar, I've got the uh, Summon Dwight ma Matriarch, which you have to double slot uh, front and back bar uh, with your pet. And we've got Streak. This is a really good CC for the game. I've got Boundless Storm. I've got Dark Immersion. Uh, this gives you back a lot of magicka, and it's a fairly cheap skill to use. I've got us also have haunting curse. Uh, this works really well, and this is what really helps you to uh, burst enemies down. So this is kind of a must-have for a sorcerer. And I've also got lights champion. Now this is a rest of staff skill ultimate and it's it's a really good skill to have it's a real good uh, get out of jail free card if you're taking too much damage or whatever you could pop, pop this and uh, it doesn't make you uh, unkillable but you know somebody is going to have to try really really hard to, uh, once you have this up so if it's really good in situations where you're fighting a number, number of players so uh, anyway that's that's about it I guess I'll get into the champion points now you can play around with this but this is this is what I have I've got uh, summon the warlord break free Summon the moon calf. Um, I've got quite a bit there. It actually increases my stamina recovery uh, by quite a bit, and you really want that. I've also got some into magic recovery. I also have some into uh, health recovery. Uh, health recovery is actually kind of nice to have, especially if you're using the uh, citrus fruit. Um, that paired with this uh, works out really well for your health recovery. I think I'm sitting at around uh, 850 or some, something like that. I've got some into tumbling. I've got some into elemental expert. This is a really important one to have along with uh, master at arms. Got some into spell erosion. Uh, you want some penetration, and I've got some into uh, healthborn, which increases my critical damage, and that works really well. I've got uh, some into ironclad. I've got some into spell shield. Some into critical resistance. I've got some in the light armor focus. What I've done is tried to keep this in balance with this in order to give me uh, pretty equal resistances, whether I'm fighting uh, magic or, or the uh, physical damage person. I've got some in the hardy, some into elemental defender, some into bastion. This increases my shields a little bit. At this point, I'm not sure that I really need it, but it's 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 good to have it there just in case. And uh, I guess that's about it. So really, the main thing left on this build is I really need to get a uh, master's. Uh, staff that's that's gonna really increase my damage quite a bit so uh, that's the next step for this um, I think I've covered everything I guess uh, 
Dragon Star Arena is pretty hard. Um, I was in there for a little while. I'm going to have to, I guess, get in with a, a group of people that know what they're doing and uh, try to get that Inferno Staff. Uh, that's going to really increase my damage. Um, so, um, anyway, I guess that's about it. And, uh,. I guess, uh, I'll show you the buffed up stats. I've got, uh, 2154 spell damage. My critical is sitting at, uh, 45%. My physical and spell resistance are just a tad under 20,000. Crit resist is 28. What I may end up doing uh, is uh, converting this to impenetrable later. But as it states, I, I don't think it really hurts me right now. Of course, uh, my flame rage, my crystal frag, are sitting at uh, about uh, 14, 594. So, uh, one more potion, and my haunting curse is is sitting at uh, eleven six one six. Uh, this is this is a really important skill to have uh, for a magic person. Uh, you really want this. So, uh, what I'll probably do, be doing, once I get the Master Staff, I'll remove this and probably replace it with Haunting Curse, as it's just probably a more easier, uh, more effective way to fight. And I'll replace this with the uh, Mutagen. Uh, this really heals you for quite a bit. Having this plus a uh, single hard war shield uh, will really make you tanky and hard to kill. So uh, that's probably the way I'll play it once I get everything set up. And as far as uh, My major prophecy and uh, spell damage. I'll probably use these as kind of a fuel for this build. Uh, use it using the uh, spell power. Um, oh, oh, of course, I use the uh, Clockwork Citrus Fillet. That increases my max health, my max health recovery. And my max magic go by uh, 54 or 34.58, which is a nice mump all the way around, and that's I found this to be the best way to play the build. My health recovery isn't high, but it's not really all that low either. Um, it works pretty well, so I've just kind of left it there. But anyway, I guess that's about it. Um, the future plans for this... I definitely need the Master Staff, uh, so I'm going to be working on that, and I'll probably do another video later uh, showing you guys how well it works and that sort of thing. But I also want to get a few add-ons add -ons for Sorcerer. Uh, there's times when your pet dies and you don't actually know about it, so I want to kind of get an add-on that, that tells me exactly how much health my pet has, uh, you know, because that sort of thing can really get away from you. I also want to uh, find something that will uh, tell me when 
the lich set is is proccing and I also want to tell want something that shows how uh, long it'll be before it can proc again and there might be add-ons out there for that I'm sure there probably are but I'll have to look into that but uh anyway I hope you guys uh, found this uh, video helpful and uh, It'll give you uh, some good ideas for your future builds. Anyway, I guess I'll see you guys out there. Take care.